Hi, I'm Marlon and this is the White Noise Studio. In this video I will show you how to do the transformers mod for the SM57. Uh, with this modification you remove the transformer to improve the sound of the SM57. I will show you in detail how to do it and how it will sound. But before I begin, please like this video and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit that notification button. First thing you have to do is to carefully unscrew the SM57. You can easily snap off the wires inside. Here we have the inside of the microphone and as you can see the transformer is glued in. You have to remove this glue to get the transformer out and the easiest way to do that is using a hot pot of water. But before you throw in the entire microphone and damage the capsule, you have to remove the capsule part of the microphone by desoldering these two points. So this is how it looks when the top part of the microphone is desoldered. And this part is what you put in the hot pot of water. But before you throw in the back part of the microphone, you have to first unscrew the XLR chassis part of the microphone. Because that will make it easier to remove the transformer out of this chassis part. And with the XLR chassis part removed, it looks like this. Here is a pot of water, let's turn on the gas. You can now throw in the back part of the microphone, but from experience I know the glue can get out and will stain your pot and it will be really hard to remove it. So what I prefer to do is I put it in a plastic bag and put that plastic bag inside the pot. This will also melt the glue just as good, but it will keep your pot nice and tidy. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, you can always use an old pot of course, and let's just throw in uh, the back part of the microphone and dry it afterwards. From time to time you have to check if the glue is already melting, and if you notice the glue is melting, that's the moment to uh, pull out the transformer. I wouldn't boil the water, I would just keep it just below uh, the boiling point because I've noticed if you keep it too long in too hot water, uh, the coating of the microphone can get loose. Uh, the glue is melted so I pulled the bag out and I have a pair of tweezers with which I can pull out the transformer like this. Here's the transformer. Then we go on with soldering, which is pretty straightforward. You cut a piece of wire which is not too long and you solder this piece of wire like this. Keep in mind what is the A pin, which is the plus side, and what is the B pin. Then you take the chassis part which you just removed the transformer from. There's a hole on the inside and this new cable has to go through. Here it comes out at the other end. And this part uh, will be soldered to the XLR chassis part. Since I forgot my soldering clamp, I use a pipe clamp as a uh, makeshift replacement. When you solder it, make sure you solder pin 2 of the XLR plug to the A point of the capsule and you solder pin 3 of the XLR plug to the B side of the capsule. And when you're done soldering, you just put back the XLR chassis part and you tighten the screw. And then you screw the two SM57 chassis parts back together and there you have it, your modded SM57. So that is how you actually do the transformer mod by removing the transformer and the soldering. But how does it sound? Let's check it out. Ok, let's check it out to snare drum. The unmodded version is the SM57 with the Wilkinson Audio 90 degree clamp. And the unmodded version is the normal SM57. Um, because the modded version sounds a bit softer, it has lesser output because there's no transformer. I normalize the audio so they sound equally loud. Ok, let's go back and forth between the two. First I will do two times the unmodded version and then two times the modded version and then two times the modded version, etc. You can hear that the modded version sounds more open and has more low end. 
Let's check out another snare drum example, but this time with hi-hat bleed and bass drum bleed. We're gonna do exactly the same as with the first example. So first two times no mod and then two times the modified SM57. Now you can really hear that the modded SM57 does not have the presence boost of the normal SM57 with transformer. So it does not have that 7k and 3k boost. Uh, this will mean it will blend a bit easier in a mix. Of course you have to decide for yourself which of the two versions fits your recording and mix the best. The SM57 with mod, without a transformer and with more low end and sounding a bit more open. Or the SM57 as is with transformer and that's presence boost. Let's check out one final example and that is a distorted guitar. And again, let's start with the normal unmodded SM57 and then switch to the transformerless SM57 and back and forth. With this distorted guitar you can hear the differences even better. I think I may even prefer the standard SM57 with transformer because the coloration and the presence boost fits this guitar. So now you can have two flavors of SM57. On the one hand you have the brighter standard SM57 with its presence boost. And on the other hand you have the modded SM57 which sounds more open and has its bass boost. One will fit more bright sources and one will fit more darker sources. So you can really play with these two sounds. Thank you for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel and hit that notification button so you know when there's a new video around. I'll see you next time. Bye.